To cut out the paddles and stencils for my paddle ball set, I used a laser cutter. But if you don't have access to one, don't worry. In my Instructable, I'll also tell you how to use a bandsaw for the paddles and office supplies to make the stencils. With all the cut pieces, I headed to the wood shop, where I used the vertical spindle sander to shape the handles and lightly sanded the surfaces of the paddles. Next up, painting the handles. I did four coats of yellow with light sanding in between each coat and while they were drying, I used that time to prep my stencils with double stick tape. To keep the stencil paint from bleeding into the wood, I sprayed one layer of UV resistant clear coat on both sides of the paddles. I set the handles in place to keep that area from being sprayed for the glue up. Once the coat dried, I gave it a light sanding to prep for stenciling. I applied the two anchor stencils to the freshly sanded surfaces, then sprayed top down, one red, one blue, using indoor outdoor paint. At this stage, I also sprayed the edge of the blue anchor paddle, but not the red, to avoid overspray. Once the anchors had dried, I flipped the paddles over and used painter's tape to create diagonal lines on the back of the blue anchor paddle, and applied the polka dot stencil to the back of the red one. Again, top down, I sprayed both patterns and the edge of the red anchor paddle. I glued on the handles and sealed up everything with two coats of UV resistant clear coating. Once my new paddles had dried, I swapped my apron for sunglasses and headed for the beach. See my instructable for downloadable files and detailed build instructions.